This is the countryside we're in. This is where we're driving. And over that high dune is the Skeleton Coast National Park, which is restricted access, and therefore we won't go in there or anywhere near there, as there's diamond mining and all sorts of things going on over there. And if you get stuck, it's not that easy to get out. So we'll do a photo stop up here in the dunes. heading east again, actually more northeast, and um, down a dry, up a dry river bed now to get back to the more recognized roads. That's Jackie. Having to reverse down, we've got an oncoming car here. Yep, bring it. And someone was he coming down. This is the road. It's apparently the nastiest section of this pass. So we've got a chap who's busy coming down. A couple traveling with their little puppy dog. And there he is. Now we've got to go up here after this gentleman has come down. Sorry, that was a bit of bad videoing. I was busy watching him and not concentrating on the video. He doesn't look too experienced. I don't even think he's in the right gear, but he'll miss me and he'll miss the cruiser, so that's the most important thing. And there he goes, lots of axle articulation and some rocks that I'm going to be fixing. Can go down the knob for sure? I don't think so. might not look too bad to you but watch when George brings Bruno up here I've just jogged up this hill it's pretty steep and it's pretty rocky and we had to wait because there was oncoming believe it or not there was an oncoming vehicle here he comes Articulating nicely, as George would say. Low range second or low range first. Sorry. somewhere up ahead in the valley just after the next hairpin bend that is that, can't see that for now we'll show you later Thank you. 
really big rocks up this place and there's quite a big rock that we're going to go over there This is in the Hartman Mountains. It's an abandoned mine of some kind, possibly garnet, we were told. And here are the mine slag heaps. And here is the trench. There might be a tunnel underneath us, which we'll find out shortly. So we're going to leave Bruno parked here. And we're going to go and have a look and see what Try and see if we can see what they were mining here. There's lots and lots of shiny black rocks which really shine in the sun. This epitomizes the situation here in Kaoka Felt, far north of Namibia. Six years of drought. This was a baby zebra and he just couldn't walk any further. Obviously there are no predators around because there's been absolutely no sign of anything having eaten him. We approach another tricky section here. Looks fairly short. Not good for wide vehicles. And um, beautiful rocks everywhere. This is a uh, blue drum and um, I've just placed a phone call over there and ordered some room service. Two cold beers at the pool please. And all blue drum consists of is just a marker to show an intersection, a four-way intersection in the desert road. Right, we're at Grundrom and Bruno is going to have her self video as we circle the drum. And the wind is blowing and it's a lot cooler than the wind at Synchro, so it's actually quite nice. If you look behind Bruno, you will see, and behind the drum, that there's a lot of nothing around us at the moment. We're very much in the desert and this is how it's supposed to be. It's normally like this, deserted. Back to where we started, and this is Green Drum, another intersection. In the desert, crossing a dry, deserted, deserted riverbed, going down, down. And more down. That's a video.
and it's quarter to eight on Wednesday evening and this is our campsite truly wild today the wind is blowing and it's quite cold we've got both got jerseys on the shadows are getting long and we are sort of in the desert with sand dunes and sandy mountains around us we've got a few minutes to go before the sun sets we're going to pack all of our goodies away tonight because behind the chairs over there we discovered that something lives here in the bushes in that hole white hyena poo down there And Mr. Hyena might come back. That's to the other side of us. And a little bit further to the west, it's just sand dunes towards the sunset. That's our bush. They'll be, they'll be sleeping behind. And while George was washing dishes, I picked up stones. Not those ones. I have a little stone stash now. And we'll find a spot for them later. Green, pink and... Hmm. And we've been playing around in this area this morning. We slept in that riverbed just before the Skeleton Coast Park, where, where you're not allowed access. And now we are traveling south along the side of the Skeleton Coast Park, and we'll make our way up, up there towards Oropembe.